Okay, praise the Lord. God bless. Um, tonight, we are here to do um, corporate deliverance. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So as people start getting on, I'm just going to be um, praying over you tonight. So the most important thing you can do tonight is engage, uh, be involved in in the deliverance that we're going to be doing. And uh, okay, Mibel, hello. And as we uh, go through this, I'm just wanting you to engage, you to speak to the same things that I'm speaking to and command them to leave you. Uh, tonight, also, as we go through the very deliverance aspects, and that's all I'm going to do is pray deliverance. I'm going to also probably pray. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight again, but go back into the womb and pray concerning that, because I still feel there's still a lot of different things with that that we need to deal with, okay? So, but to start with, um, what I want you to do is pray with me. I'm going to lead you through some prayers. It's vitally important that you forgive anybody who's ever hurt you, uh, again, because that'll keep you bound if you don't forgive. And again, again you always forgive by a choice of your will, okay? It's a decision, so that simply means that um, the good part about that is, is that I don't always have to have the right emotions that go with that. OK, so all I really need to do is make that quality decision out of obedience. One time we had a guy that came to us who was dealing with a lot of issues from his uh, where he worked. And uh, yeah, maybe it's a decision it took me a long time. But you know what? That's good that you did that because. Joey, because, you know, I had a guy come one time who hated his boss and uh, when we and, and he he had addictions and it didn't seem like no matter what we did, we could not break the addiction off of him. And so as we um, con continued to exhort him to forgive and he would just say, well, I'm not forgiving that guy. I'm just not doing it because this boss was so horribly mean to him. And so one day I said, well. Could you just forgive him out of obedience to the Lord? And he said, oh, I can do that. So basically what he did is he made a decision of his will to obey God by forgiving that person, releasing him. And then we were able to pray him through and get him free. So it was pretty amazing. But when he made that decision of his will, so you always need to remember, it's not an emotion. And it doesn't mean that what they did was right because it was wrong. People people are mean and people, they do whatever they want to do sometimes and then they justify it. Okay. And sometimes you can be the recipient of that. But if you don't want to be the recipient of it, you can put up like, uh, you know, you're told to guard your heart with all diligence. Okay. So put a guard around your heart, not, not a wall around your heart, but a guard around your heart to that. You know, with people, especially people that violate you, that, uh, hey, Lakeisha, Lakeisha. So when you have people that do that, you do not have to go back into relationship with them. So I put up boundaries. I have a lot of boundaries with people. Overall, I just have a boundary up that I just keep up seriously. And I'll give you my heart, but only to a degree. Okay, because I'm not going to let people walk in my heart, uh, spit on my heart, heart do whatever. And the reason I'm going to tell you why is because then I have to uh, work on getting it off and I don't need that kind of baggage. Okay. So I just will step back. You go do what you do. I'm going to forgive you by choice of my will, but that doesn't mean I'm going back into like relationship. Doesn't mean I'm going to say what you did was okay. Cause it, it wasn't, you know, but you can still by choice, let it go. Okay. So it's so good. Yep. Yeah. And, and, you know, you would always feel guilty for not wanting to have them in my life again. Yeah. There's some people you absolutely don't want in your life again, ever, 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 because there are people who will violate their selfish people, you know? And so, yep. Yep. So, and you know, Jesus departed from people too. He did. There were certain people that he stayed away from. So, okay. So tonight, because we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with, um, uh, prayers to break this off. And I was going to have uh, Zoranda come and help me tonight, but um, my schedule kind of changed and and I wasn't even going to do it tonight. And then I was going to put it off till tomorrow, but the way things shifted around, I ended up, let, you know, deciding today would, I would just do it. So 
what I'm going to do tonight, we're going to walk through some prayers. I want you to look at this tonight as the beginning of peeling off the layers of the deliverance. Okay, going in and cleaning out the house of your life. Okay, so as we go in and we start cleaning out, and then I'm going to do a little more teaching probably over another, another week, maybe possibly two. Then what we're going to do is another corporate deliverance. And I'm going to see if I can get Zoranda to come in then with me. And uh, it might be midday, but you know, you can always replay these. And the good part about whether you get it live or you don't get it live is this. The Holy Spirit is always live. <laughs> he is always live. So it's not about me. It's about the anointing of God and God will take he makes it live. So that's why I've I've listened to stuff sometimes two, three years old, and I can still get delivered from listening to it or even healed because the Holy Spirit is omnipresent and he is always live. He's never, you know, you might think, well, it's just recorded. Well, it ain't recorded with the Holy Ghost. OK, so anyway, that's what we'll do. So I'm going to lead you through some prayers to break this. And I'm also going to first of all, I think we're just going to do a short prayer to break off generational iniquities if that spirit of rejection is in your bloodline because that does follow off so you receive it through the genetics through your dna uh and then you keep having it added to you okay so that is why it's important hey from puerto rico that's cool so anyway um in that so let's renounce that in the bloodline let's forgive anybody Let's break any ungodly soul ties. In other words, you're going to break the connection by breaking an un ungodly soul tie. Now, the, if this is a person who, and I'm going to walk through this prayer of spirit, soul, and body breaking off ties. Sometimes you can just break a soul tie, but sometimes you need to break a spirit, soul, and body tie, which is normally the way I lead people into that, especially if you've been involved uh, intimately with someone, you know, had sex with them, whatever, even maybe not intercourse, but you've still dabbled in things. Okay. So that will bind, bind you together with them. So that needs to be broken. So we're going to do that, which makes it easier for you to then to move into a place of your freedom. Okay. So I want you to say, repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive my iniquity and the iniquity of all my ancestors. I ask you to forgive the iniquity of rejection that's in my bloodline in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I break the authority of any ungodly covenant, vow or oath, agreement that I have made or my ancestors made with the demon of rejection. In the name of Jesus today, I break every ungodly covenant, vow and oath in the name of Jesus. I ask that every pattern of sin, my every belief system, every ungodly belief system that I walk in that has even opened my, my physical body up to sickness and disease. Father, I ask that they be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Take a deep breath and release all of that. Just let it go. Father, I ask that you cleanse me, purge from my spirit, soul, and body this iniquity of rejection and its family and its outworkings and its infirmity in the name of Jesus. Again, take a deep breath and I cancel, say this, I cancel any curse in my life or the lives of my children that has resulted from the iniquity of rejection in the name of Jesus. And then I want you to say, we're going to forgive. Lord Jesus, I thank you for forgiving me. Now by a choice of my will, now by my decision to obey you, I forgive all who have hurt or offended me, betrayed me or abandoned me or rejected me in any way. I forgive anyone who has wronged me in the name of Jesus. So say who that is. Just say, you know, if it's your parents or whatever, a friend, just say, I forgive you. I forgive you. And then I want you to say, I release you in by choice of my will. I release you into the freedom of my forgiveness in the name of Jesus. And today I release myself. I release myself from you. You can say their name again. And I release myself from the wrongs. And you might need to say that if there was a sexual violation, if there was an abandonment, if there was fatherlessness, if there was abuse, 
I release myself from that in the name of Jesus. So just, just shake it off, you know, shake it off. You don't have to tolerate the works of the enemy. And the reason you don't have to tolerate the works of the enemy is because every one of his works were defeated at the cross and we're enforcing that. Okay. So we are to enforce the uh, work of the cross. And then I just want you to um, break ungodly soul ties. So I want you to say, father, in the name of Jesus, by choice of my will, I break every ungodly spirit, soul, and body tie Establish between me and say, say their name, say who would ever, you know, if it's again, a parent, a friend, a pastor, and an ex uh, husband, wife, lover, whatever. Okay. Cut yourself free in the name of Jesus. I break every ungodly spirit, soul, and body tie established between me and this person. I cut that linking. I cut it. I break it. I disconnect myself from them. In the name of Jesus. Say that again. I disconnect myself from that person. Say their name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just take a deep breath and believe you are just, you just got disconnected is what you did. You got disconnected in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask, say this, God, that you remove the very imprint of that person, all their residue and all their influence. I command all their residue to leave me, all their imprint, all their influence of that person be gone in the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask that you would draw back to me every part of my life wrongfully tied to that person. I am taking my life back tonight in the name of Jesus. Tell all of heaven and all of hell tonight, I'm taking my life back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So then I'm going to have you say one more thing here and I want you to declare. And actually this comes out of my book, Rejection, Identity Thief Exposed, which if you don't have that, I'd recommend you get that. And then also my book, uh, Setting the Captives Free. If you don't have that, it would be good for you to get that. Okay. But I want you to say in the name of Jesus, rejection, I am done with you in the name of Jesus. I will not submit to you any longer. You are not my Lord and you are not my ruler and you will no longer rule in my life. Today, I come out of agreement. I come out of agreement with you. I know the truth and you are a liar. The truth has set me free. I renounce all familiarity with the spirit of rejection and it's, and it's, family, its nest. I renounce all comfort and all compatibility with you. I cut you off. I disconnect myself from you in the name of Jesus. You will not go into my future and you cannot have my generations nor one more day of my life, my destiny, my blessings, my inheritance. You'll not have it anymore. I'm taken back tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says resist the devil and he'll flee. So I'm telling rejection. I'm resisting you and you must flee in the name of Jesus. Today, I am breaking out. I come out from under the control of every spirit of rejection. And I submit alone to the lordship of Jesus Christ. And from this day, I rule and reign as a king on this earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to begin to pray some things over you. And as I'm praying them, you can re-speak them. You can command them to leave. Um, we'll go through the various things. But you know, a lot of times when a person is deals with a lot of rejection, they have shame. They feel like something's just wrong with me. And it's a lie because the enemy uh, is wanting to steal your identity. And you know, it's, it's the same way with like, and this so grieves me because... You know, it's kind of like with this trans or what is it? Gender identity thing. Stop and think about that. That's a rejection of who that person is and their value. You know, I just heard of a person that I know who has a little boy and she's trying to make her little boy into a girl. How sad that she is rejecting his his 
maleness, his, his manhood, okay? Because that's who God made him. Remember I told you in the very beginning when this man who came who thought he should have been born a girl. And so we had him ask the Lord, Lord, should I have been born a girl? And the Lord said, I don't make mistakes. So God does not make mistakes. You are who you were birthed. When you came into this earth, when you were conceived, actually, you were the gender God wanted on this earth. He saw so much potential in you as a woman or so much potential in you as a man. So that's what he made you. But you can imagine the severity of that rejection. Okay. So, all right. Okay. So, all right. Well, you can replay it. Okay. And uh, cause someone just said they had to leave, but we'll listen later, you know, cause remember, like I said, the Holy ghost is always alive. So, you know, whether you're listening to it right now or later, he'll be live there right with you and he'll make everything live. Okay. So anyway, let's, let's just begin to pray. So first of all, I come against every spirit of self pity. I come against every spirit of woe is me, poor me in the name of Jesus. Father, we come against all self pity in the name of Jesus. Every woe is me, poor me. Nobody treats me right. In, in the name of Jesus. And I come against that spirit of an enabler where you've probably been enabled to walk in this all your life, but you absolutely enable yourself. And so, Father, I break off that spirit of enablement in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, God, we come against every antichrist, unloving spirit in the name of Jesus. And I command it to come out of you. Just take a deep breath and really set unloving spirit that rejects everything that God says about you, rejects your destiny, rejects your importance as a person on this earth in this last days. So Father, we come against right now every spirit of, of uh, self-bitterness. Father, in the name of Jesus, every physical, every spirit that uh, re is a like a rejection of who you are physically, a rejection of who you are spiritually. And I also come against a competitive spirit where you're always striving, 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 because you never feel like you can attain to or reach what you should. And it keeps you out of that rest of God. So Father, we break off all the unrest. We break off that striving spirit, that performance spirit. I command it out in the name of Jesus. I say, release and let go all that performance, expel and come out in the name of Jesus. I command all the competition in the name of Jesus. I command even when someone else does something, you, uh, it, it, you it's like you don't like them being acknowledged over you. And Father, we break that off in the name of Jesus because God will acknowledge you and he will bless you in the name of Jesus. So I come against any spirit of withdrawal where the enemy rejection wants to cause you to withdraw in the name of Jesus and where he wants to uh, take you off by yourself so that you don't have to deal with overcoming rejection. So I break that off because tonight we're going to begin to face this spirit and we're going to choose to come out of it in the name of Jesus. You're going to refuse its identity and you're going to refuse walking arm in arm with that thing any longer. It's a wicked evil spirit. And I know because I had, it kept robbing me and robbing me and robbing me of everything in my life. And rejection wants to do that. Rejection wants to rob you of your destiny, your identity, your finances, your family, love, all of that. So I break off the robbing spirit right now of rejection that keeps robbing you from all of your inheritance in the Lord Jesus Christ. I command right now, that spirit of rejection that has stolen from you, has robbed from you, taken from you. We break it tonight. And Father, we declare restoration, Father, over your people. Lord, you said you would restore with the canker worm, the palmer worm, the crawling locust. Uh, the crawling locust has, has taken from them the stripping locust. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare and command, give it up, devil. Restore. I command restoration to be loose to your people where the enemy has robbed your finances, where he has robbed you from things that belong to you. We break it off and call that back to you in the name of Jesus. I come against perceived rejection where the enemy is always lying to you and making you perceive things one way, but they're really not even that way. I command the deception of 
of rejection to go in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, when you see yourself being robbed of things, start coming against that curse because that is a curse, okay? So we break off the curse, the, okay, robbed of peace. Father, I come against all the worry. I come against the mental torment. I come against anxiety in the name of Jesus. And I command it to loose God's people. If you've got some things, put them down. Father, in the name of Jesus, no longer are you going to rob this person of their peace in the name of Jesus. So I command all that torment to go in the name of Jesus. Every tormenting spirit, all of the fear, go in the name of Jesus. All that mental chaos in the name of Jesus, all that paranoia, I command it to go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every bit of it, expel, release, and let go in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command in the name of Jesus, even a negative self-judgment, but I command the anxiety. Anxiety is a big one that comes in with uh, with rejection. And, you know, I didn't ever think I had any anxiety until I began to watch how I was responding to different things. And I would be fretting. I would be worrying. And so I break off that spirit of fretting, constantly fretting in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit that causes you to fret, to worry, to be anxious, to leave, take a deep breath, leave you now that robs you of your peace. I command mental illness, even where you feel like you're going crazy, insanity, I call it out. I command the stress to come off of you. Some of you need to take a deep breath. All that heavy stress come up and off of them right now in the name of Jesus. Even that inability to take in enough oxygen where you're always feeling tighter, feeling something pressing down on your chest. I say, come off of them now in the name of Jesus. Expel, expel all that unconscious conflict. Come out from rejection the, where you've not even been able to label it, but that unconscious conflict, I command it to go in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, even hyperventilating, always feeling like something bad is going to happen. I command that to leave you and to leave you now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I command that feeling of unworthiness where you feel that uh, you're unworthy and you feel like God views others uh, better than you. I break off all that unworthiness where you can never measure up. I break it off. It's And that again is an anxiety and a robber of peace where you're always trying to strive, strive, strive to get God to love you, to get other people to accept you. I command all that unworthiness, that, that uh, feeling of not being wanted, feelings of not being valued. I command that to go take a deep breath in the name of Jesus, every bit of it. And even flashbacks, always even mental flashbacks that are triggering you. Father, we command the flashbacks in the name of Jesus. And we'll be praying inner healing into some of this in the name of Jesus. But Father, we release people from captivity right now in the name of Jesus, where they've been locked up in prisons of captivity. I say, release them now. And I say, even get up and step out of that place of captivity. Step out of that trauma of even, I just see someone when they were little and they they were rejected severely and you just are kind of locked up or stuck there. Well, Father, in the name of Jesus, we step out of that place. We come out of that place of being stuck in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And even that feeling that all of God's promises are for everybody else but you. That God wants to bless other people, but you're not good enough to get blessed. You, you're a failure. You you sin. You mess up. So I command that that feeling that that God wants to bless everybody but you. I command that lie, and that's what it is. It's a lie to be broken off your life in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command always be in decline. Always be in decline. You get a job, you go apply for a job and you're declined. We break that off in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Always being put on the outside. I break it off in the name of Jesus. I command deep-seated rejection. We pull it up out of you right now. Deep-seated rejection. Pull it up. Pull it up right out of yourself. I command all of that. And even the deception of self, I command that out. Even that grieving spirit, the sadness, the sorrow, we rebuke it. We cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. We charge angels to take every one of these spirits, remove them to the abyss, seal them there 
in the name of Jesus. And I said, they cannot return to you in the name of Jesus. Feeling like you're, you have no value, diminished in value that you, again, don't measure up. Your value is low. I break that off of you tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command all the loneliness to go, the isolation, the depression in the name of Jesus. I command right now, even rejection that has come in from divorce to come out of you. I command rejection that came in from a divorce. There's somebody here, you've been through divorce and there's more than one, but I command the rejection that came into you from be, from going through a divorce and it was not even a pretty divorce. It was an awful divorce and it broke your heart. And I command the rejection from divorce to come out in the name of Jesus. I command the rejection from your parents to come out where you weren't wanted or they never, they never bothered to come to your games or to anything that you did. I break off parental rejection. I break off rejection from spouses where you, you are married, but your spouse does gives you no attention. All your spouse does is gripe and complain about everything they don't like about you. Father, that rejection from a spouse, we break it off in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every bit of it, I break it. I command it to go. I command that orphan spirit to leave in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all that accusation, I command that to go. Voices that accuse you to yourself all the time. All that negative self-judgment. Take a deep breath. Come up and out. And even, even a spirit of python that comes in with that, that is literally squeezing the very life of, of God, his blessings out of your life. I command all of the weariness, take a deep breath, the fatigue, the frustration, the discouragement to go from you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every bit of it, expel in the name of Jesus. I want you to just say today, I fall out of agreement with the spirits, plural, of rejection. I come out of agreement with them. I do not want you. I command all lust. I command false comfort in the name of Jesus. Every addiction, I command it to go in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit of insecurity to expel, to release, and let go in the name of Jesus. I command the selfishness, the self-centeredness, the focus on me, me, me in the name of Jesus. I command all that double-mindedness to come out, that too, being too sold. Father, in the name of Jesus, all the double-mindedness from rejection, going back and forth, even to a place of schizophrenic behavior in the name of Jesus. I command even spirits of schizophrenia to come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command all fear of judgment, fear of being judged by every place you go, you feel pe and you feel like people are judging you. I break that off, like you're, they're sizing you up. In the name of Jesus, I break that off of you tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the number one spirit that will hold you back and halt you in life. So, Father, I command this halting spirit that always causes them to draw back, Father, out of fear, out of anxiety, of never feeling good enough, of feeling like they're going to be bypassed. Every one of that, we command it to leave in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all the self-accusation, all that scrutiny, scrutiny come up and out in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, even, even all that chatter, 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 where you can never close your mouth. You're always talking, 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 are always trying to draw attention to you. And you're not able to listen to other people because you have to be heard. I break that off in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, that feeling of and, and, and even as a child, you were probably overlooked. Nobody listened to you. But I break that off of you tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command all anger to go from you. All frustration to go. In the name of Jesus. All of the anger. All the bitterness. Take a deep breath. All of it. All that self-awareness. Always being aware, self-conscious of yourself. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every bit of it. I command it to loose you that self-destructive behavior come out come up and out that self-destructive behavior loose and let go all that disorder in your life we break that off in the name of jesus all the chaos in your life that this brokenness from rejection has brought in all the emotional stress i command it to go 
that even the wound to self, where you wound yourself by your thoughts, by your behaviors, by your uh, inability to operate socially with people. I command all that woundedness, that self woundedness to release you now in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every bit of it, all of the false comfort in the name of Jesus, expel, take a deep breath, tell it to go in the name of Jesus. I command instability to go, unstable behavior, rages, anger, losing it, losing control. I break, take a deep breath. I break that off of you right now where your personality is all over the place. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we make a decision to take control over our personality in the name of Jesus. You must bring your personality into alignment, your soul into alignment. And Father, I break off all abnormalities in personality. Okay, so that opens doors to lots of different spirits, but you are still accountable to bring your personality, your life, rather than let your personality be flying all over the place in, in all sorts of different on, on not good behavior. Okay. So father, I break that off all the disorder, all the havoc in the name of Jesus. I command all that havoc in your life where nothing goes right. All that disorder, all that chaos, we break it and we command it to leave in the name of Jesus. I command all of the self deception to go all of the shame, feeling shame, feeling like there is always something wrong with you. I command that shame to go. All of the anguish expel. Having no self-respect for yourself. I break that off. Having no self. Lowering of your self-respect. We break it in the name of Jesus. I command projected pain to come out of you. Always seeking approval. I command that to come out of you in the name of Jesus. If you get approval, you're happy and you feel good about yourself. But if you're not, you feel horrible about yourself. I break that off of you, that needing approval from others in Jesus name that comes in from that spirit of rejection in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all of it, every bit of it come up and out that legalistic behavior where you don't give yourself any grace. You're no mercy, no grace, and you don't give anybody else it either. I break that off of you right now. All that legalistic behavior, that rigidness, that inability to relax, all that rigidity in the name of Jesus. You're almost like you're uptight all the time. And I break that off of you, that no peace, that inability to come into a place of rest, that inability to relax. Devil, let him go in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out and come out now. All the torment. All that torment, let them go in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every bit of that torment, expel in the name of Jesus. Come up and out in the name of Jesus. God, we break up and destroy the kingdom of rejection right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And I come in always the defeat that comes self-defeated in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I break it off of you. I command even where you project false guilt on others. So you feel better about yourself. So you're always projecting guilt on other people. I break that off in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit of retaliation, wanting to get even. I break that off of you. That is a wickedness that'll hit you back like a boomerang. So I break off all that retaliation, all that desire to get even, get out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the stubbornness, Come up and out that stubborn spirit of pride. I command that to come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every bit of the pride, expel. Always being suspicious of everybody. Everything that's done, I command all that suspicion to go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the spirit of pride, unteachable, come out. That inability to hear instruction, come out. Come up and out that inability, those blocking spirits in your ears, in the physical ear and in the spiritual ear that makes you unteachable. I break it off of you right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I command in the name of Jesus, swearing and cursing that violent mouth. I break that off of you, that cursing mouth. I break that off of you, that foul, defiled mouth where you're always cursing, swearing, are speaking down and demeaning others because you're angry at you. I commend that to come out of you in the name of Jesus. Take a deep breath and release that. Release that 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Barbara. We we receive all of that in the name of Jesus. That angry person come out. Come up and out that angry person. Expel where you're always wanting to hurt others and point out their wrong so you can feel better about yourself. I break it off in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. All that condemnation where you have voices that condemn you constantly to yourself. You even lay down at night and you're bombarded with all this condemnation and all this negative judgment against yourself. I command condemning voices to leave you, even to leave you in the night, tormenting voices in the night, tor uh, guilt. Uh, I just feel like there's someone you carry so much guilt that even though you've prayed and even though you've asked God to forgive you, you're not forgiving yourself. So Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, by I want you to say by choice of my will, I choose to forgive myself, Lord, for that which I know you have already forgiven me for. See, that's a choice. You must forgive yourself. Always analyzing every situation in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every bit of that, all that delusion, disobedience, rebellion, come out in the name of Jesus, expel, come up and out. And even that blindness where you always look at everybody else and with the judgmental spirit, actually, that's what it is, a spirit of judgment where you're always judging people and you never look back at yourself. It's kind of like never looking in the mirror to see what you're really looking at in you. OK, so I command that spirit of blindness that keeps you from looking at yourself and keeps you from adjusting your behavior and making yourself accountable. And basically where you keep all uh, enabling yourself. Stop it. Stop enabling this negative ungodly behavior, pull yourself up and say, you stop, look at yourself in the mirror and say, you're not going to act this way in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes. And you know what? And by choice, forgiving to uh, choosing to forgive yourself, that is the same way when I forgive someone else, their sins and their iniquities. I am also as responsible to God to forgive me. Okay. Because if I, if I refuse to forgive myself, I'm holding on forgiveness against another against a person and that person is me maybe okay but you have to release yourself because he, let it go you're you're forgiven just let it go just say lord i let it go father thank you that you have forgiven me that when i stand before you father my slate will be clean my slate will be white as snow because the blood of jesus has cleansed me from all unrighteousness so father tonight i let myself go i release myself from past mistakes Things I've done, Father, that were not good. Father, things I did to hurt others, Father. I forgive mistakes, losing finances, whatever it was, whatever you did, let it go. Let it go. Say tonight I come out of agreement with all of the condemnation, all that false guilt in the name of Jesus. Now just take a deep breath and let that go. Release it in the name of Jesus because that literally is a woundedness to yourself when you walk in that. And I just speak to all that confusion in the name of Jesus, all the despondency in the name of Jesus, all that timidity intimidated by other people where you always, it's like a fearful, fearful spirit. And Father, we break that off tonight in the name of Jesus, all the rebellion, all that aggressive attitude, we break it off in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, and even <clears throat> that feeling of closed up now, where you've locked yourself up and you have an inability to receive love and you have an inability to give love, but yet you're crying on the inside, wanting to love people, wanting to be loved, but that inability to give love and receive love. Father, I call that out of them right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, that feeling of being so broken. He is the healer of the broken person. So allow him to heal you. God is not mad at you. He loves you. He is not angry at you. He wants restoration to come. He wants you to get back up and dust yourself off and begin to walk. You know, when I first got saved, and I'm just going to kind of put this in and then we'll go back to deliverance. But when I first got saved, I felt so worthless. I felt like, I was God's worst kid of all, all of his kids. I was the worst when I 
kept messing up and messing up and messing up. And one night I had a dream. And in this dream, someone brought a baby to me. And this baby was all wrapped up in kind of a, a not a very clean blanket, but they brought the blank, the baby in this blanket and they had tried to take, give this baby to other people and nobody would take it. There was just rejection, rejection, rejection. So they brought the baby to me. And actually at the time I was living in an old farmhouse and uh, with my husband and, and I had two children at that time. So they brought this baby to me and when they brought it all wrapped up, I said, well, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. So I took this baby and this little baby was so dirty and it like had snot all over its face. You know, babies snot and they get dirty and looking and it was, it was smelly. And so I took this little baby in my dream and I took it in and I put it in the bathtub and I began to wash this baby. I washed it all clean. And then I took and I wrapped this baby up and a nice clean blanket. And then I just held the baby to myself. And I just loved that little baby. Well, when I woke up, I had almost like this warm glow on the inside of me. I just felt warm, like a glowing warmness on the inside of me. And it's that that feeling, that warm glow stayed with me all day long. And so by the end of the day, I said to God, I said, well, Lord, what was that? What is What is this that I've been feeling all day? And he said, Bev, that's my love for you. See, so God takes us in when we're dirty. He takes us in when we're repulsive. He takes us in when we're smelly. He takes us in and he cleanses us just like I did that baby with his blood. And then he wraps us up in his love and holds us to his heart and loves us. So please do not accept the lie of the enemy that God's mad at you, that he doesn't love you, that he don't care about all of the stuff that's happened in your life because he does. He loves you so much. And so even though there have been things, we live in a fallen world. God doesn't do bad stuff to us. Okay. So we live in a fallen world and we live where there's an enemy. And so when bad things happen to us, because, you know, we come in and we've never walked through deliverance. Our families haven't walked through deliverance. We have all sorts of open doors in our lives and we become bombarded by all this different stuff. We make our own mistakes. And then we think, well, God's going to be angry at me. He's not going to love me because I've done this or he loves everybody else more. That's a lie. So make that decision today to accept his love. Make a decision to allow him to heal that brokenness. And I want you to just say that right now. Lord Jesus, I step out of every place of brokenness by a choice of my will. Because Jesus, you came to heal the brokenhearted. So Lord, I step out of every place of brokenness in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And Father, as I come out, I break off the chains, even of the unforgiveness. I break them off today in the name of Jesus. And I command, Elizabeth, I break off that spirit of unforgiveness towards yourself that will never let you forgive yourself. And I call that out of you right now in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit, that unforgiving, unrelenting spirit that accuses you day and night of past decisions you've made that weren't good. I break them off of you right now. I command right now, even Father, I pray, Lord, uh, and, and this is where we're going to pray for abortion, okay? I pray you would abort those ungodly decisions from the fruit and the harvest of those in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask God that you turn things for Elizabeth. But Father, most of all, Lord, I ask by your grace that you would help her to forgive herself. And Elizabeth say that by choice of my will, I choose to forgive myself. I'm not going to hold myself in bondage to unforgiveness any longer, Lord, because I, I choose freedom so you can use me. And, you know, this is something that I decided, you know, a long time ago, because I'm not, I made mistakes, but I'm not going to let those mistakes hold me down because he will forgive me. He does forgive me. Every, everything, you know, I would say this, your past, we're, we're, we're not two thirds saved. God didn't save, forgive us of our past. Doesn't forgive us of our present. He just, just our present. He forgives us of the future. So we're completely forgiven. Every mistake I've ever made, even the mistakes I'm going to still make in the future, they're all under the blood. Okay. So in that we receive it. We can never be worthy enough if we, but Jesus was worthy enough for us so that we can receive forgiveness for the mistakes we've made. Amen. So again, by a choice of your will, just say, Father, I choose to forgive 
myself and I release myself into the freedom of my forgiveness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, I just pray, Father, healing over every single person here tonight, Father. I ask God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would turn things for them, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray even, God, where there's been infirmity and sickness, God, and disease, I ask the Holy Spirit of God that you would go in there and that you would heal into those places. Father, we just come against all be betrayal, all trauma and abandonment, all neglect, even handicaps, people who are handicapped. Father, the rejection they go through, Father, in the name of Jesus, I break that off of you. If you're handicapped, and you know what? Handicapped mentally, have handicapped physically. Father, we break that off in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command all those distorted feelings to be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command all of that to loose you and let you go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And some of you, you just need to close your eyes and let that little girl, that little boy that was so rejected, let that person climb up in the lap of Jesus and let him hold you and let him tell you that you're wanted and that you're needed on this earth in this hour in this day. You know, we could have been born 500 years ago, but we weren't. We were born now. And you know, our spirit man is in heaven with God prior to our conception. And God chooses to put us on this earth when he put us on this earth at this time. And why? Because even though, you know, let let what you've had to walk through equip you to help you bring others out. But see, then that goes back to that choice that I will not hold myself any longer in a place of bondage. I will not enable this spirit of rejection. Even all these wrong decisions that I made many, many years ago, I, or even yesterday, I don't make a difference. I will not enable them to hold me any longer in the name of Jesus. I'm not doing this devil. So I command you right now to loose and to let go in the name of Jesus. Just take a deep breath, release that, let that come out of you in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, right now, I pray for any person in the name of Jesus that if they have been, uh, been stuck in any place in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, any portion of their life that was stuck, imprisoned, or held captive because they didn't feel they were worthy, Father, and that because they did, they didn't feel they were acceptable, Father, and that made them to become a target of the enemy, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, they dismissed themselves in Jesus' name. They shut down and they rejected actually a part of their life, Father, because they didn't agree that they were good. They didn't agree they were worthy. So, Father, I ask God right now that you restore them in the name of Jesus. Restore them in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you that you are so ready, Lord, to forgive. You are so ready to love us, to pray, take us up and put us in your lap and hold us and love us, God. So I just would say to you too, and especially you, Elizabeth, run to Jesus and let him restore. He said, I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the crawling locust, hopping locust, and stripping locust. Locusts are always referred to as demonic spirits in the Bible. And that is in Joel chapter two, okay? You can read that. But he said, I'm gonna restore to you those years. So you know what? Locusts, stripping locusts, hopping locusts, crawling locusts, um, I think that's how it was said. They strip us and they come to us unaware. A lot of us mess up because we don't know any better because we weren't raised the greatest, but you know what? He said, I'm going to restore that to you. So Elizabeth, I want to say to you, get ready for restoration and all the rest of you also in the name of Jesus. In fact, I was just praying that today for myself. God, I'm in alignment for some restoration. So restore, Lord, restore. And I receive it, Father. And just tell him that, Lord, I receive restoration in my life today. And God, we lose restoration to your people, Father, in Jesus' name. Now, I take authority over your physical bodies, and I command even your physical body to release 
all of the long and short term effects of the trauma of rejection that you carried for many, many years, even some of you all the way back from the womb. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against even physical infirmity that would have come against them in the name of Jesus. And we break it. I command all the residual effects of rejection. Let God's people go. I command it out of the organs, out of the muscles, out of the tendons, out of the ligaments in the name of Jesus. I command it to come out of your bones, out of your connective tissue, out of your spine. Take a deep breath and release that. Out of your nerves, your hair, your teeth, your brain tissue, all the residual effects of rejection. I call that up and out of you and especially the mental torment in the name of Jesus. I, I even speak to your body and I say, release all of the aching effects of loneliness and feeling hopeless and feeling helpless and feeling like you're defenseless and like nothing's going to change. Take a deep breath. Just release that. Say, I'm releasing it. Release it. Release it. I let it go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command all the negative effects of shame, disappointment, failure, release right now. And the way it even affects your soul, the way it affects your uh, body, your physical body, I say, release it right now. Take a deep breath and let it go in the name of Jesus. All of the tension, all that anxiety, take a deep breath, release it. That's come in from years and years of rejection in the name of Jesus. I command every blockage that has developed in any area of your life, physically or in your soul, I say, be removed every dam, every blockage in the name of Jesus that has hindered you from even growing spiritually, physically, financially, in places of healing. I say in the name of Jesus, release, release every blockage in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for every single person. And I ask God for uh, where rejection has even damaged their balance chemically, Father. Father, I ask that you would restore every connection, Father. Restore enzymes that are necessary, God, to bring back the full functionality into the neural pathways, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the electrical and magnetic fields, Father. Reestablish, God, even between the hemispheres of the brain so that they can begin to walk. Take and receive that. Receive that. Walk in the fullness of what God has called you to do in the name of Jesus. That's right. Restore, restore, restore. And just say, Lord, I thank you. I receive restoration tonight. I receive, Father, restoration of all that the spirit of rejection has robbed me from for years and years and years. Today, I say, give it up. The word of God says that when a thief is found out, he has to restore seven times. So, Father, I say, restore, 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 restore back to God's people what has been taken. And Father, we even charge angels right now to go in the mighty name of Jesus and bring back the goods to these people. Bring back godly relationships to them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Bring back their inheritance, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We loose angels to go and bring back and we put a demand on that word that says you will restore god with the canker worm the crawling locusts and hopping locusts and stripping locusts have taken from us father we take it back we say give it up in the name of jesus and father we praise you tonight god we declare father right now the glory and the honor even for everything done tonight God, we honor you. We bless you, Father. Even in the midst of these things, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. Father, we thank you that you restore harvest to your people. You restore property to your people. You restore finances, God, because this spirit of rejection that keeps rejecting it and rejecting it is removed in the name of Jesus. So I declare harvest restored, property restored, marriages restored, finances restored, lost businesses restored all of the years you some of you have lost years with family with relatives i because of strife and because of the rejection i say be restored right now in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of jesus father we thank you lord for restoration god we give you the praise we give you the glory and we give you the honor tonight god for all you've done tonight so i speak healing to every person God is there listening. 
Father God, Holy Spirit of God, fill your people with a fresh filling of your spirit. And Father, bless them. Help our hearts, God, to be set as flint to go after you, to not go anywhere else, but to press and to know you better in the name of Jesus. Now, I bless you as you leave tonight. I pray prosperity over you. I pray restoration over you. I pray the goodness and the mercies of God over you. And I'll see you next week. Okay. Love you guys. God bless.